Imagine for a moment that everything you believe about time, past, present, and future, is nothing more than an illusion. What if the flow of time is simply a trick your mind plays on you? What if time, that constant force that governs your life, doesn't actually exist at all? And what if we're all just trapped in a moment that we can't escape from? What if I told you that some of the brightest minds in physics and even ancient religions have suggested that time might not be what we think it is? Welcome to Is Time an Illusion? The Truth About Time. Grab your seat as we dive deep into the mysteries of time, challenging everything we know and exploring theories that could change the way you think about life, the universe, and everything in between. Time, it's everywhere. An unseen tide that carries us from birth to death it's an endless conveyor belt, dragging us forward, second by second, moment by moment, never pausing, never stopping. We treat it like an undeniable truth. We build civilizations around it. We measure our lives in it. Our calendars, our clocks, our memories all whisper the same thing. Time moves forward. And yet, what if that's a lie? What if time isn't something that moves at all? What if it's something we are trapped inside, like fish in an aquarium? who don't realize there's an entire ocean beyond the glass. Let's do a little thought experiment. Imagine you're standing in a field, eyes on a distant mountain. Does the mountain only exist when you start walking toward it? Or has it always been there unmoving, whether or not you approach it? Now, what if time worked the same way? What if your past, present, and future were like that mountain, fixed and eternal, existing all at once? It sounds impossible, doesn't it? But, what if I told you that some of the most respected theories in physics and even many spiritual philosophies suggest exactly that? The mystery of flow. Time feels like it's something that flows, doesn't it? It's an invisible current that we're all caught in, moving us through the moments of our lives. But what if that flow is just an illusion, something our brains have constructed to make sense of the world? Imagine standing at the edge of a river, watching the water rush past. It feels constant, like the current is always moving, carrying everything in its path. But what if we could zoom in and look at the individual molecules of water? Would we still see that steady, uninterrupted flow? Or would we see tiny bursts of movement, brief shifts, ripples, and jumps? The same could be true for time. It feels continuous because that's how our minds interpret it. But just like the river, when we break it down, Time might actually be made up of discrete moments, small individual units that come together to create the illusion of smooth motion. Could time as we experience it simply be a series of snapshots, each one fixed and unchangeable, that we move through one at a time? If that's the case, then the flow we feel might just be a trick of perception, a mental construct that helps us navigate a world that's far more complex than we can imagine. The Block Universe Theory time frozen in place. Let me introduce you to the block universe theory. Imagine time not as a flowing river, but as a book with every moment, past, present, and future already written. In this theory, time doesn't flow. It simply exists all at once. You're not writing the book as you go. You're flipping through pages that were always there. This perspective mirrors many religious teachings, particularly in Islam. The belief that God already knows the future that it's already decreed, yet we experience life as a series of choices. This paradox mirrors the very idea that the future is already real, even if we don't know it yet. Think about that for a second. Every choice you think you're making, the next meal you eat, the last breath you take is already set. It's already there, already real. And if that's true, then what does it mean to live? What does it mean to choose? Now, before we dive further, take a moment to like and subscribe. Your support helps us keep these thought-provoking ideas coming. The illusion of flow. Time feels real. We experience it every single day. We remember the past, but the future is hidden. We age. We watch people grow old. We witness change all around us. So how can this be an illusion? A film reel of reality. Picture an old film projector where each frame is a still image. Played in sequence, those frames blur into motion, but the movement itself isn't real. It's just a trick of perception. Now, let's apply this idea to the universe. Every second of history, every moment of your life is like a single frame in a cosmic film reel. You're not moving through time, you're just experiencing each frame, one by one. 
This means that our perception of time as a continuous, flowing stream might be a construct of our minds. Our brains are hardwired to interpret reality in a way that makes sense to us, so we naturally experience life as a constant flow from one moment to the next. But what if that flow doesn't exist at all? What if, like the frames in a movie, everything is already in place, just waiting for us to experience it? Imagine viewing the entire history of the universe, every past event, every present moment, every future possibility, laid out like a grand film reel, all existing at once. It would be overwhelming, wouldn't it? But also fascinating. You'd realize that everything that ever was or will be has always existed. It's all just waiting for us to play our part. And what if we're not really making choices? What if our decisions, the moments we think we control, are actually just the natural progression of time unfolding? The future would already be there, somewhere on that reel, just out of sight, until we get to it. And the past, it's already played out, just like the frames behind us. Even the moments you think are unfolding in real time might just be part of a grand pre-existing sequence. It's like you're sitting in a theater, watching a film of your own life. You're seeing the images, but you're not the one making them move. They're already in motion. Think about deja vu, that eerie sensation you get when you feel like you've experienced a moment before. What if that sensation is your brain recognizing a frame of the film that you've already seen, something you're about to experience even though you haven't yet? Could it be that your entire existence is just a replay of moments that were set in motion long ago? The idea is mind-bending, but it's worth considering. So what does this mean for our choices? If every moment is preordained, does that make free will an illusion? Or are we actors in a script, unaware that it's already written? Before Einstein, time was thought of as a universal constant, ticking the same for everyone. But then relativity shattered that idea. Time bends, stretches, speeds up, and slows down depending on where you are and how fast you're moving. Time isn't fixed, it's relative. Imagine there are three alien spaceships scattered across the universe. One is stationary, one is moving away from Earth, one is moving toward us. For the stationary alien, Earth's present might be 2025. For the alien moving away, Earth's present might actually be 1925. And for the alien moving toward Earth, its present could be 2125. So which now is real? The answer is all of them. If multiple versions of the present can exist, then could multiple versions of the future also exist? If so, your future is already there, waiting for you, just not in the way you think. And if the future is already out there, what happens to free will? Are you just following a script that's already written? Time and consciousness. Let's shift gears for a moment and consider how our consciousness shapes our experience of time. We know that time is something we experience, but how do we experience it? Is it possible that our awareness, the very act of being conscious, plays a role in the way time unfolds around us? We often think of time as a series of events that happen in a linear, progressive fashion. But what if our minds don't actually experience time in that way? Think about the concept of the present moment. In reality, the present is always fleeting, constantly moving forward, slipping away as soon as we try to grasp it. Yet we perceive it as a continuous flow, a steady now that we exist within. This might not be the case for our consciousness. Our brains can only process a limited amount of information at once, so they compress moments into manageable units, creating the sense of an ongoing present. In fact, our consciousness might be experiencing multiple nows at once, even though we can only focus on one at a time. Some scientists and philosophers believe that consciousness itself might be a crucial part of the illusion of time. If our awareness is always catching up to what's happening around us, could it be that we're not really moving through time at all? Instead, perhaps our consciousness is simply witnessing events as they unfold, like an observer watching a movie that's already been filmed. Time, then, could be a product of our consciousness trying to make sense of the world, and the more we try to grasp it, the more elusive it becomes. Does time even exist? Some physicists argue that time is just an illusion, a side effect of how humans perceive the world around them. Others believe it's an emergent property, like temperature or gravity, something that arises out of the complex interactions of particles.
time might not even exist in the way we think of it. It could be an artifact of our consciousness, something we experience because our minds have evolved to perceive change. We experience time as a measurement, ticking away in seconds, minutes, and hours. But that may just be a construct of how our brains interpret the world. Time could be like color, something we perceive, but not necessarily something that exists independently of us. If time doesn't exist as we experience it, how does that change our understanding of the universe? If every moment is essentially frozen in place, like a photograph captured in the timeless void, then what does it mean to move through time? If the past, present, and future are all fixed, where is the change we perceive coming from? Could it be that we're experiencing time not as a flowing river, but as a series of snapshots that we move through one by one? Take, for example, the way we measure time. We have clocks, but why? What are we actually measuring? The movement of the hands on a clock is a physical event, but is the ticking of the clock time itself, or is it just an event that we experience because we're wired to process change? If time isn't an objective reality, but just a mental construct, then measuring it could be like trying to measure a dream. It's real, in a sense, but also transient and elusive. Here's another way to think about it. In physics, time is often treated as a fourth dimension, like a location in space. But space and time are inseparable. In Einstein's theory of relativity, time and space are part of a single entity called space-time. It's a framework in which everything exists together. This means time is not something that happens separately from space. It's woven into the very fabric of the universe. But what if that fabric doesn't actually exist in the way we think it does? What if space-time is a mental model, a way of understanding the universe, rather than a physical reality? In many spiritual traditions, time is treated as an illusion. In Buddhism, for instance, time is viewed as a mental construct, a way of organizing experience that doesn't exist outside of our perception. In Hinduism, the concept of time is cyclical, infinite, and ever-repeating. Time isn't linear or progressive, it's just another aspect of the eternal. In Christianity and Islam, God is often described as timeless, outside of time itself. What does this say about our human experience of time? If time is something that belongs to us but not to the universe itself, does it mean that our relationship with time is fundamentally limited? So, what's the truth? Is time a real, tangible thing, or is it simply an illusion? The answer isn't clear. Some scientists argue it's real, even if we don't fully understand it. Others say time is an emergent property of consciousness, a perception, not an objective reality. And then there are those who think time might not exist at all, at least not in the way we experience it. Maybe we're trapped in a block of predetermined events playing out the scenes of a film we don't fully understand. Or perhaps we're shaping reality as we go in ways that our minds aren't fully capable of grasping. But one thing is certain, time is something that keeps us moving forward. Even if we don't fully understand it, it still defines our lives, whether it exists or not. Right now you have a choice, at least it feels that way. So maybe, just maybe, this is your moment. The future is still waiting to be revealed and you're the one holding the key to what comes next. Take action, make that call, take that leap of faith. You might not know what's ahead, but for now, your future is yours to uncover. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with someone who loves a good mind-bending thought experiment. Until next time, remember, time might just be the biggest illusion we've ever experienced.